Hello and welcome to my video blog all about wardrobe maintenance and all that basically is is how to look after your clothing. So just a couple of really quick hints and tips for you. So number one, okay, if I was going to come into your wardrobe, would I find any of these? Because if I did, they'd be thrown out the window. They are the devil's spawn and I absolutely hate them. So wire coat hangers generally come back from the dry cleaners. If you get something dry cleaned, it will come back in a wire hanger. Now what you've got to do is take that off immediately, okay? Because these ruin your clothes. What you ideally need, the perfect thing, are these. Now these are called knitwear hangers and all my clients will know about these and probably have them. These are so good because of the way the shoulders are shaped. It stops you from getting any lumps and bumps in your shoulders. They're also slightly sticky, so if you've got anything silky or strappy, it doesn't fall off, and really nice and thin, so you can fit loads in your wardrobe. So knitwear hangers are absolutely fantastic. Now I sell these, they're £1.50 each, so if you want any, do send me an email after the end of the blog and I'll be sure to, to send you some out. But they're absolutely fantastic. Now, if you were going for something quite heavy, you'd want a slightly thicker one, okay? So again, knitwear hangers, so the way the shoulders are shaped, brilliant for your clothes, doesn't damage them. But if it's heavy, you do want a wider, a wider edge or a wooden hanger. So if you've got anything, jackets or coats, then a wooden hanger will be perfect for them. Also, the other hanger to consider is one of these, a clippy hanger. Now, if you've got the length in your wardrobe to hang clothes lengthways on a clippy hanger, then do, because it stops them from creasing. But if you haven't, then you can have a trouser hanger, but these are by far the best thing. So you literally just obviously clip them on lengthways. Little tip, if you've worn a pair of trousers and you don't necessarily want to wash them before you wear them again, if you hang them upside down with a heavy belt in the waistband, that weight can pull out any creases. So absolutely brilliant. Get yourself some clippy hangers. Next to consider is where you're storing your clothes. Now, even though my clothes are all in a wardrobe, if you've watched my, my video blog on my wardrobe, you will see that I have loads of these. Now, these are called shoulder covers, and they simply pop on over, over the hanger, and it just protects your clothing. So if it's something quite special, quite nice, silky, maybe beaded, something that doesn't get worn that much, and you don't want to you know, get dust on it, anything like that, then these are absolutely brilliant. And there's also a long version, okay, which you just pop over. This one's two pounds, the shorter one's one pound 50, and again, I sell these so you can get them from me. The other thing when you're storing your clothes away is, and this is crucial if you have an open dressing room or a clothes rail, is to cover your clothes. Um, you can use shoulder covers like that, or you can use a suit cover, a breathable one though. So. As we've spoken about, when you take your clothes to the dry cleaners, they'll come back on a wire hanger. They also might come back with like a plastic cover over. Now, the amount of wardrobes I go into where these plastic covers are still on the clothing, thinking that they're doing something right, but actually, that plastic stops the clothes from breathing and they will sweat, so you need to take that plastic off straight away. And if it's something, a dress or suit that you don't wear that often, then get yourself a breathable suit cover. So make sure it's cotton and, and the fabric can breathe inside it, okay? Moths. So, do you have moths? Um, I certainly don't, because I protect my wardrobe with these. So, the reason I like these ones, they're called Akana, they're available from John Lewis, um, is because they tell you when they've finished working, so they'll say end on them. There's no of that horrible old mothball smell, there's no odours to them at all. And basically there's a, there's a hook one which you can hang up and then there's sachets which you can pop in your drawers or on your shelves, but always protect your clothes. Doesn't matter how old your wardrobe is, make sure you're protecting them from moths, okay? Because once they get in, they will cause absolute devastation. So if you find anything with a tiny little hole in it, they generally do like expensive fabrics as well, so cashmere and silk, make sure you get some of these absolutely brilliant. I think they're about five or six pounds, so, but it's worth investing in. Next, everybody should own one of these, okay? Sticky roller. Now, there's no excuse not to, because I think you can get like two for a pound from Primark. You probably can get six for a pound from Primark. Not that I'm telling you to shop in Primark. Um, however, this one, this particular one's just from John Lewis, and everyone needs one of these. I probably have about 10 dotted around from in my car to in my office to in everywhere. And the reason being is I molt, I have pets, I do like to wear black and darker and navy colors, and everyone does molt and you get dust. So literally, you just roll this over your clothing and it just picks up any dust, any fluff, and any hair. Now, you do need to, and like my eight, six-year-old client, Barbara, didn't realize that you do need to peel off the next layer to reveal the sticky stuff. So, make sure you have some sticky rollers in your life. 
Next on my top wardrobe maintenance tips is one of these bad boys. Now, a lot of my clients, when I go through their wardrobes, have some beautiful pieces of knitwear and basically they just look horrendous and ruined because they are covered in bobbles. Now, we naturally dispel these bobbles. Fibers basically that group together and cause a bobble. And it's generally under the armpit and bust area that you get them. And instead of throwing that jumper, or actually even a piece of jersey can bobble now, get yourself one of these. So this particular one is from John Lewis. I should be on commission. Um, I think it's about seven pounds. You can actually get them from the pound shop for a pound. So obviously, um, really good value for money. It's not going to break the bank. You literally just turn it on and then in a circular motion it gets rid of any bobbles. Now be very careful though when you're doing this because if it's anything fine you can nick it and get a little hole in it so just be very careful when you're doing it but it's so therapeutic. I absolutely love debobbling. That's how sad I am. Okay last on the list just a quick tip, personal colour best thing to wash your clothes in. Now I'm not going to say change the entire wash to it because it might not be economical or practical if you've got kids that are constantly staining stuff, but if you've got some really nice items in your wardrobe that um, you want to keep the colour of and the condition of, then I, I would massively advise personal colour capsules. It's just slightly more gentler on your clothes and other washing detergents, so especially things like jeans, wash them inside out and a first degree wash with personal colour and the, the colour will stay in for longer. So that's my few little top tips for wardrobe maintenance. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.